In terms of the spring wage negotiation, yes, uh, we believe it's above consensus expectation uh, that has uh, recently come out. And uh, it's the largest requested increase since the mid 1990s. Uh, we view that the Japanese corporates with its record high profit levels uh, can achieve and absorb that uh, wage hike. Um, I think moreover, it's critical for consumer confidence and domestic consumption that real wage uh, goes into a positive territory. And that's exactly where uh, the OJ would like to see. Shantara, could these negotiations yet disappoint given, uh, and my question is really driving at, how much confidence does uh, corporate Japan have given the global economic uncertainty, given uh, the needs to spend on capex as well, uh, share buybacks and dividends? There are competing pressures here. Could Japanese workers be yet disappointed is my question. Um, I would say that uh, there's, compared to other years, there's much more hope in terms of the uh, increased wages and that achieving. Because over the past decade, uh, what's noticeable that is that uh, Japan, corporate Japan, has been racking up profits and the profit margins are already at record high levels. And on top of that, uh, with the shortage of uh, labor itself, uh, I think um, uh, the time is uh, right for the uh, wage, wage increase. So, Shintaro, what you're saying is uh, corporate Japan, Japan Inc. can well afford a hefty page, uh, wage uh, hike. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. We, we talked to an earlier uh, guest earlier uh, about the actual number, the quantum. I want to play the sound bite, and then we'll continue talking. Take a listen. If we get uh, somewhere between 5 and 6% initial demands and we settle somewhere near 5%, let's say, I think that will satisfy the BOJ that we are finally starting to see an upward move in wage growth in Japan. And the, our view is that they will move in April. They will move in April. We'll get to the date in just a bit. But let's talk about, uh, uh, I want to nail you down on the quantum. Because last year, last year, uh, Shunto, we were also talking about the strongest wage uh, growth in 30 years, right? In the event, though, the actual number the workers ended up getting was considerably lower than the starting point. What about this year? Um, I think this year, uh, most of the corporates, a lot of the corporates are starting to actually uh, announce more wage hike, even higher than that, uh, based on like some sectors or corporates. So I think they're more proactive uh, uh, than compared to last year. So I wouldn't be surprised that uh, it, it would land somewhere between 3 to 5 percent. Okay. And is that going to allow the BOJ to move early on the 19th, potentially? Um, we're a, a fundamental long only uh, active investor, so we don't specifically position our portfolio based on the exact timing of the BOJ hike. Uh, but the overall general direction is that the BOJ is to remove current yield curve control and over time negative interest rate policies as well. So, but on a relative basis, uh, I think it, it, the important thing here is that on a relative basis versus other central banks, BOJ will continue to be accommodative even after the removal of YCC. So we actually pay more attention to the direction of the spread between U.S. and Japan bond yield, which we think will likely tighten if and when the Fed starts to cut rates. All right. What do you think is fair value for the Japanese 10? It's at 0.77 right now. A lot of people reckon 1% even is fair value. What do you think? Uh, yes, I, I mean, given that uh, the negative interest rate policy, uh, when that it was introduced in uh, early 2016, the JGB yield was somewhere around 0.4. Uh, so current uh, levels at 0.7 to 1%, I think it's fair value. Shantaro, uh, if you're long only, uh, can I put you on the spot and ask you when would be a good time to put on the long yen uh, trade and short JGB? <laughs> Um, I think, you know, 150 yen to the dollar is already at a 27 uh, year low at this moment. And uh, a lot of the movement in the uh, forex is, especially the U.S. dollar, Japan yen, is determined by the spread between U.S. and 10-year bond yield. So it has primarily been driven by the rise in the U.S. bond yield, uh, more so than uh, the direction of the JGBs. Uh, so... I would say that if the rate starts to come down uh, in the U.S. side of things, uh, I think the, the Japanese yen will uh, strengthen at least from this 27-year uh, low levels.